and welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally doing another sit down video and it is also a haul which is one of my favorite videos to record actually. I was spending way too much time on eBay and Etsy the past months so I got a ton of stuff and I'm so 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 excited to show them to you. So without further ado let's get right into the video. Starting with a piece that I probably bought one or two months ago and it's this beautiful 1940s crepe rayon blouse I think or maybe it's just a rayon I don't know I'm still not too good with fabrics and it has these beautiful little um, embroidered details in the front it has a tiny tiny collar I've actually never seen a collar like this and it also zips all the way down in the back or not all the way but almost all the way so it's very practical to get in and it does has have some shoulder pads as well and if you know me you know that I love a good shoulder pad I think they're very flattering on myself and I really like the sil silhouette that they give so yeah it also comes with a hook at the back you will see this in a try on portion the only issue that I have with the blouse is that the shoulders are a tiny bit too small on me like yeah I wish the shoulder pads were more dramatic but they're not so I will have to see if I maybe sell this or give this to a friend we will see but I just think it's a wonderful spring color and yeah it's very cute it might have been a dress sometime but I'm not too sure next up I have this very simple and very practical 1940s garbadine skirt in this beautiful brown color and I feel like a skirt like this is definitely a wardrobe stable if you go for a 1940s look um, it is a pencil skirt and it also has a little slip at the back as you can see it does have a zipper in the back which is very practical and the thing that I love the most about the skirt is that it actually has belt loops that's so cool so yeah just a very simple skirt, but I feel like everyone needs very simple things in their wardrobe, right? Moving on to a dress. I got this dress off Etsy as well a few months ago and it was very cheap. It had a very good price. I think it was like $48. It's this very nice wool 1940s dress. Um, it is a wool mix. It's not too warm. I think it's wool and garbadine or something. And it has these beautiful pocket detailing with one pocket there and then the other one in another color there. So it's kind of color block. And it has a Peter Pan color. I am not too crazy about Peter Pan colors, but this one I think looks very nice. It also has the covered buttons and it has a zipper, I think, on the sides here. Yeah, and it's very nice. I did go with this one to the tailor just to make a few alterations because it did have a lot of pleats actually here. Like there were some tiny pleats and I tried it on and honestly I don't like a pleated skirt on myself. Like really pleated, like with small pleats. It is a bit unflattering on myself. I feel like it adds more to the hips and I don't like that at all on myself. So I went to the tailor and asked if he could maybe take out all the pleats and honestly it does look and sit way better now and also I feel like the design is much more beautiful. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this dress should really have this flowy um, skirt and it also moves very beautifully now. So I'm happy that I did this. Next up I have something special. So I bought this skirt from... Um, someone on Instagram she also has a very nice style and she eventually sells some pieces in her story when I saw this I was like do I need it probably not but it is just stunning and very unusual and that is this beautiful 1940s crepe skirt in this beautiful rusty brown color it does come with a belt with a giant belt buckle. Look at that. 
It also does have two hooks in the front and then it also has a beautiful zipper so that makes it much easier to get in and then it actually is shorter in the front and longer in the back which also creates a very interesting um, silhouette actually I don't own anything with a silhouette and the back is just very plain and yeah this one for me screams like old Hollywood like one of the photo shoots maybe <laughs> I don't know I just imagine I can totally imagine some old Hollywood started wearing this I haven't worn this out yet but the weather looks much nicer now so I'm really hoping to wear this out I will now also show you a few accessories that I got. So first up is this beautiful fur trimmed 1940s felt head. You can just put that on top of your pin curls and it looks very luxurious and also very wintry. So it's more of a winter head because of the fur trim obviously. Um, yeah, but I just really like it. It's also in great condition and it also has this little band and that's very practical because then you can actually secure it on your head. The next thing is this patent um, dark brown belt and it has this very nice um, triangle kind of shape here. And these are actually dead stock 1940s, 1950s belts. So I can actually leave a link to them. I think I bought this off Etsy as well because this person has a huge stock of also every color that you can think of. And these are just very, very great to pair with like cardigans, for example. I am also wearing one at the moment. It's nice to have some different ones. So yeah, I will leave the link down below. Then I also got a two pair of new shoes. First of all, saddle shoes, classic. Everyone should have a pair of saddle shoes. Um, these ones are from the US. I can also leave the link of the shop that I bought this one down below. They do have a stock of saddle shoes in different sizes. If you want to check it out, then just look at the description. Um, these are just very simple, plain black and white saddle shoes with a nice rubber sole. And yeah, here you can see the label with the tees. I really like the shape of saddle shoes because saddle shoes come in so many different shapes and I really like this one. But I do have an issue with the shoes. They are very hard. And I am I have just very sensitive feet. So yeah, as you can see they're super hard. You can't even move them. <laughs> and I do have another pair of original saddle shoes in brown and they are very flexible, which is just the leather I feel like they used back then. And these are I am not sure if they're actually old. Like the lady said that they're from the 40s or 50s and I am just not sure, but it could be, I don't know. But they're definitely a bit hard. So if you do have sensitive feet like me, I would probably not recommend them. Uh, but if you don't, then I would because the shape is totally nice and also they were pretty affordable, I feel like. And the other pair of shoes is definitely one of my faves at the moment. Can't wait to wear them in summer. And there are these Rocket Originals Repro white or yeah, they're white um, wedges or sandals. And they're just the perfect summer sandal with a little peep toe in the front some very nice cutout details and then they have this typical wedge kind of heel they do have a sling bag and they are laced so that is actually pretty nice if you're a dancer because they really stick to your feet which is very important to me and also the leather inside is pretty soft and I think they also have these in different colors so I will also link their side website down below they're called Rocket Originals if you haven't heard of them and they make a lot of reproduction shoes and like um, clothes and belts and stuff. So yeah, moving on to more clothes. I have so much more. <laughs> the next thing is a dress that I bought from another Instagram seller from France. It is this beautiful 1930s cotton dress with a tiny floral print, which is so delicate and so nice. It has a pointed collar, which I love. I love a good pointed collar. That's actually my favorite collar to wear. You can tie a bow. It has some um, laces here. 
and then it just flows out and yeah it does have a metal zipper at the sides and it also came with a belt I will maybe look out for another belt buckle but just because this one is broken so it was kind of DIY the belt I guess so I will probably just look out for another belt buckle even though this would also look good that's the dress and I can't wait to wear it in the summer it's so good I wanted a no collar um, jacket or blazer from the 1940s for a while now just because it looks so dope when you pull the collar of your blouse through it like I did with this cardigan. Fun fact, I found this one in Germany, which is rare. I don't find a lot of good vintage in Germany. Um, I found this for I think 30 something euros, which is a very good price. Um, yeah, it has pinstripes or stripes, which I really like. It has this beautiful detailing in the back, this triangle, oh my god, so good. And it also has some very strong shoulder pads, as you will see in a try-on. It also has some giant um, buttons, which I like. And you can tie it in the front or in the back. I think it's more meant for to be tied in the back. And then it actually has some very, very tiny pockets. Like, I can't even fit my my arms in there but it's just a cute little detail this one i already knew would be more of a size small to extra small actually so i wasn't really sure if it was gonna fit me but i ordered it anyway just because i always wanted one of these and the price was very good and it is tiny it is also a bit tight i'm not gonna lie i do fit into it as you will see and i will get it close and stuff but i think if I would wear this and not gift it to someone or sell it, I would probably have to put another um, a button here, another like clip-on button or something, or a hook, we will see, so that it stays together actually, because it does flow out when I wear it just because it is a bit tight. But yeah, it's still very beautiful and I will see if I maybe can even get a bit more fabric out to make this bigger but again still a very beautiful jacket and glad I got this one moving on to a jumper actually you probably already saw this one on my Instagram feed I ordered a jumper of Etsy from a woman who's very good at knitting and she knits these beautiful jumpers after original um, knitting patterns from the 1940s. I will also leave her shop down below if you want to check it out just because I think she does take commissions. And it's this gorgeous little number. It does have this beautiful almost plum purple color and then it also has this beige color I would call it and it does have three glass buttons in the front and then you can also tie it in a bow. Then it has some puffed shoulders and it has long sleeves. So yeah, I wore this quite a few times during the winter time. So if you want to check that lady out, I will leave her shop down below and maybe she can make a commission for you. My camera just stopped recording because of my storage. So if something is different with my background, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the next thing is one of my favorite things of this whole haul. <laughs> And it is a 1940s suit and I always wanted another suit just because suits are so versatile and so practical and look so chic and put together. I got this very lovely Glencheck suit from Etsy. I hope you can see the pattern because last time I showed this on camera it was very much flickering so if it does flicker I'm sorry. But yeah, you can see that's the jacket so it is in this beautiful dark brown it has a few orange lines as well and then this little cream and dark brown um, Glencheck pattern and then it does have a dark brown collar it does have dramatic shoulder pads which I am such a fan of the shoulders fit perfectly then it also has this very nice label and it says tailored by Chess Coppersmith couldn't find anything about this brand but I just think it looks very elegant and I think it also has it does oh it has another one it has this one which says the Wells Evansville Indiana probably um, so I'm guessing that this was maybe the store that they sell this in 
um, and the other one is just the designer. Might be wrong, but that's something I could imagine. And that's what the skirt looks like. So it's a pretty average 1940s skirt with like one pleat in the front. Actually, it has a dark brown trim at the end, which I feel like is very, very unusual. Of course, it does match the collar. And I'm so happy because this is also perfect for spring and I can also wear this in autumn and um, early winter maybe. So I'm now already coming to the last three or four pieces, I think. So I do have another um, skirt set to show you. Got this one from France as well. It was sold to me as a 1950s summer suit, but I discovered that it's actually reproduction. I wasn't mad because it is still a very nice suit and also it wasn't that expensive. It looks like this. So that is the skirt. I do need to iron this, I'm sorry. I love that the waistband is so thick. I feel like that's very flattering and in the back it's actually a bit elastic so that you have a bit of room which is nice especially for summer because you don't want it to be too sticky that's the print and yeah it does have these two off-white little buttons on the side and it zips until here so that you can get into it and yeah the color is a very interesting one i feel like it's probably more of a brown, but I actually, sometimes it looks kind of a bit rosé, but it is actually brown, I think. So brown and this cream color. And then, as I said, it is a set, so it also comes with a little jacket. Isn't this just so cute? I love the color. And actually, David just found a picture of Ivy Anderson wearing a very similar jacket so I will probably put that somewhere here so that you can see it and what I really like about this jacket is that it has this very interesting clip in the front like these buttons and I really cannot wait to wear this in the summertime I feel like the material will be so nice and it is actually from a reproduction brand that I already know and it's Jack's daughter which is a brand that is handmade in Australia. So yeah, I think they also have a Etsy shop. So if you're on the lookout for some nice reproduction things, just check them out at Jack's Daughter. I will now show you the last three pieces, starting with this blouse. That is actually one of the things that I recently purchased, I think last Saturday. And it's actually also the only thing that I bought in store and that is this beautiful and very unusual 1940s what is this oh it is silk okay I wasn't sure <laughs> so it's this beautiful 1940s um, silk blouse or shirt and look at this stunning color you guys this is color porn honestly it's so nice and then what is also very special about it is that it's actually a monogrammed shirt it does have a g and a j i have no idea who gj is but that girl had some fashion sense <laughs> and yeah it's just so nice and also the buttons and it also has these beautiful little dots everywhere also at the sleeves which is very nice the only problem is it is a bit big probably two sizes too big <laughs> and i definitely need to take it in or to go to the tailor to take it in um so we will see what they can do about it but i just love it it's so dramatic and so different the next piece is something that actually arrived yesterday and I'm so excited for this one. So I ordered this dress two weeks ago from Etsy, of Etsy, from the US. And it actually arrived yesterday, which was a pretty big surprise because I was honestly thinking it would maybe arrive in like two or three weeks and now it is already here. I will just show it to you. So that's what it looks like. Isn't it just the most stunning 
color combination and print like oh my god you guys look at these flowers <laughs> It's so beautiful. This one's actually one of the pieces that I did spend a bit more money on, but I just saw this and I couldn't leave it behind. I was like, you have to buy this. And then so many people had it in their chart and I was like, okay, now I need to buy it. So yeah, here it is. It has this nice little, it's kind of like a belt. So it cinches in the waist at the back and it looks like a bow. It's so beautiful. It has shoulder pads, which is, just a dream because you know me I love shoulder pads and they just make the shape much better and it has a bit of draping here and there um, yeah no color and empire waist and then in the back you also see this little cutout detailing with a nice little glass button and it is just so stunning god cannot wait to wear this in summer I think the color combination is so nice and so unusual and it is also in perfect condition it has a very nice length which is also nice because i'm very tall and a lot of pieces are way too short on me the only issue that i have is that the skirt is a bit too full for my liking it is a bit big on my hips and that makes my hips look way bigger than they are and again i don't like that so i will probably go to the tailor and hope that i can fix it for me because i don't want to sell this one i want to keep it <sighs> just that's my new baby we're now at the end of this haul i only have one more thing to show you but of course it is my absolute favorite piece so if you made it this far you go and now you will be rewarded because you will see the most stunning 1940s play suit first i will show you how the shorts look like Ta -da! look how stunning <laughs> I love this print with the bows, it's so lovely and I love that it's light blue because that always pops when I'm very tan in the summer and um, yeah these are just very flowy shorts, they have a perfect length, they're definitely not too short so I can also wear them in the city and not only on the beach if I want to and, and now on to the top how cute is this you guys i can't and it fits me perfectly both of the things um it's so lovely got this from instagram again from the same woman i also got the brown skirt from and it also came with a tag which says tailored by weissman if i'm not wrong yeah and yeah it's just perfect for summer if we can travel again this year i will definitely go to italy with david that's one of my dreams if not this year the next year hopefully and i will wear this play suit and i will look stunning and that's the only energy i want for this summer all right guys so we made it to the end sorry this video was so long um but i just wanted to show you a bit more vintage things because i feel like it's I need to do more fashion content on here. I do a lot of um, hair tutorials recently and just vlogs, but honestly, the fashion content is always the most fun, at least in my opinion. So please, please, please let me know what your favorite item was. If you had a few more, tell me your three favorite items because I couldn't choose as well. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me um, and you already follow me on Instagram, then you can check out my Patreon. I will leave the link down in the description box, especially for more fashion content and for more life updates. I post there and never posted before photos that I never posted on my Instagram or anywhere else. And I will keep you updated when I get some new packages and like the vintage treasures. But the most fun thing is that I'm actually offering custom styling videos when you do not know how to style a certain piece or actually I'm also offering custom how to start dressing vintage videos. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Hope you have a wonderful day, evening, wherever you are. Stay safe and see you in my next video. Bye. The night is young, the skies are clear. And if you want to go dancing, dear, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's the lovely.